Welcome back to the channel. Um, today's going to be a short video. Um, I actually filmed this a couple times already and uh, I didn't have the audio <laughs> um, adjusted correctly. So third time's charm. I'm still getting back into the groove of uh, filming. I'm not used to it, um, especially for this channel. So today I just wanted to kind of briefly chat about my book. First of all, I released it February 4th or February 5th, something like that, and I was not expecting to get such an overwhelming like response from you guys. Um, thank you. Um, so many of you guys purchased it, and it was uh, it sold so many copies the first week that Barnes and Noble picked me up, like within a couple of days um, after its release. They say, you know, when you release your first book, um, not to uh, get overly anxious about, like, you know, excited about releasing the book. Big chains like um, Barnes & Noble won't necessarily pick you up if you're an unknown author, but I had so many sales on Amazon, the data was so good that it's now um, pretty much all major bookstores, including Barnes & Noble and even Goodreads. So just shout out to everybody who, um, who purchased my book. I am going to be doing an interview with Kat on um, some things that are in this book. She's She's gone through and she's actually like highlighted sections and she's kind of coming up with some journalist uh, questionnaires for me about the book. I know a lot of people wanted me to go in depth a little bit more um, about what the book is about and uh, since it was the first book release in my career. Um, I thought it would be cool to just make like a separate video. I'm going to upload this video to both of my YouTube channels. So essentially this book is one of many hopefully that I released throughout my career. Um, I feel like it's long overdue. I feel like this should have come out a while ago. I always knew that I wanted to release um, memoirs on things I've gone through in my life because a lot of people give me a lot of questions like how are you such a positive person Crystal and like most people are like cynical or look at the glass sort of half empty rather than half full and um, then when they know you know some of the challenges that I've been through in my life like we all go through challenges they're even more curious about how I'm positive and, and really the biggest answer I can give you is that I always see the positive in everything um, there's always a lesson and our darkest times hardest things that we go through there is still a lesson to be learned. Um, and I wanted to share you know, some of my hardest struggles and, and I hope that it inspires other people to understand that it's okay to struggle and like you're going to make it, but to just keep trying and not give up no matter how hard um, times may be. Is it nothing stays the same forever, everything changes over time. I really feel like I'm defined by love because um, I've loved hard in my relationships. Now, you're seeing a lot of the struggles that I went through, but just because there were struggles doesn't mean there were good times that I, I enjoyed with um, people that I was in relationships with. A lot of these lessons in this book with love are also just about um, meeting people, um, growing up, and like learning how to adult, learning how to be in a relationship. like. Being in love and being in a relationship is hard, and especially when you're young, you think you know everything and, and you really don't know anything at all. There are some paranormal stories that are in here as well, things I've experienced with the other side, um, stories I've actually never ever shared publicly, so I thought it was really cool to put them in a book. Um, it's so surreal to sit here and hold your own book. This is the author copy, so if you do purchase it, it will not say not for resale value, this is just the author's copy. And um, I just hope everybody gets a copy, grab a copy. Um, I'm really proud of it. And um, it's not perfect. You know, there's a couple grammar things in there, but it's not the end of the world. I'm still very proud of how it turned out. And um, 
really excited to move on to the next one. A lot of people have asked me what my next uh, book will be. It'll probably be a paranormal memoir, um, but I'm gonna need a little bit of time to catch up on rest from editing this one and uh, doing this one. And uh, the next one, I hope maybe the end of 2021, maybe beginning of 2022. Um, I hope you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for all of your support. I know that so many of you have seen my ups and downs and sideways and um, even the accomplishments I've done over the years and just to have you all on the path with me um, as difficult it can be sometimes. Thank you. Um, and I hope this gives you a little bit more insight into my life and uh, why I am the way I am with, with certain things. And um, I feel like the biggest lesson overall in this book is sharing the meaning behind uh, friendships, relationships, whether it's family, friends, or people I've been in love with. Um, and and it expressing like how much people and relationships really truly mean to me. Um, I'm a people person and when I have people in my life that I truly love and truly care about, um, I will do anything and everything for those people um, because I, I love hard, um, whether that's platonically or romantically. So thank you guys so much. As always, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Please give my video a thumbs up. If you've read the book, share something you enjoyed reading down below or maybe a piece of advice that you took away from it. Um, make sure you're following us on social media. And as always, I will catch you guys next time. Back from the dead.